Greetings, the Astro 30 here yet again, and today I want to talk about these things and the misconception that surrounds them. I'm talking about capacitators. Now, take a standard linear power supply. The transformer connects here to a full bridge rectifier, <coughs> and the negative and positive rails are formed off of each end of the rectifier as normal. And we've got this 10,000 microfarad capacitor across the supply rails as our main filter cap. Now to the load's perspective here, between the positive and negative rail, it's seen 10,000 microfarad. And if we were to put another one of these in parallel with it, exactly 10,000 microfarad again, well we'd have 20,000 microfarad. However, if we were to change this from a single-ended power supply, to a bipolar one by adding in an extra capacitor here. We move this negative line. That now becomes zero. That connects off to the transformer center tap. That now becomes the negative and that becomes zero. That is also 10,000 microfarad. Excuse how messy that looks, but anyway, some people may look at that and go, Oh, we've got now 20,000 microfarad of filtration in this power supply, so it's going to be even better than the single ended version. Well, no, that's not true. These capacitors are in series. The load, irrespective of this zero volt ground reference or halfway voltage reference point, we look at the total capacitance across the positive and negative pins now. Well, if these capacitors are both the same, we're only going to see half the original capacitance of one. So the load's only going to see 5,000 microfarad. The reason why the capacitance divides in, in series like this, uh, there is a complicated explanation for this, but that's out of the scope of this video. The point is to demonstrate that this does actually happen and to keep that in mind when designing power supplies. Which is often a reason why you see power supply designers putting a set of two of these capacitors in parallel series configuration. Because they know that the capacitance will halve with respect to the load. And you can calculate what the overall capacitance is going to be and it's a, the same calculation as resistors in parallel. It's total capacitance is C1 multiplied by C2 divided by C1 plus C2. So in this case, that's going to equal 5,000 microfarad. But say, for example, this was 100 microfarad and this one was 10 microfarad. Well, it'll be 100 times 10, which is 1,000, uh, divided by 100 plus 10, which is 110, which equals... Uh, about 9.8 microfarad in the end. It's a little less than 10. So it'll always take the total value as lower than the lowest capacitance in the string. All right, it's fine to say that they do, but let's have a real world experiment here. I've got two 100 microfarad capacitors here on this breadboard, ignore all the wires and other components, they're not, not part of this. Um, the negative of this plate is connected to the positive of this plate of this capacitor. So we've got two capacitors in series. Now I've used 100 microfarad because it's a lot quicker to measure on a multimeter like this. But if I put my connection points of the meter across one of these capacitors and wait for it to range, there we go. We can see as the capacitor charges up, we've got roughly 94 microfarad. Okay, fair enough. So if we now move our negative probe, to the negative end of the second capacitor. Now these two are in series. Look at that. 47.3 microfarad. Almost half. And there was no visual trickery there or editing tricks. That was one continuous shot. So this is something to keep in mind. 
that when capacitors are in parallel, when say across a DC supply rail, the capacitance is going to be half. In fact, it doesn't matter if it's across a DC supply rail or in series with something else. The capacitance is going to be half. Now, what is the practical application of this, you may be asking? Well, you can take two capacitors of different values to give you your resultant capacitance of a odd value that's not commonly available. Say, for instance, you want 8 microfarad. Well, you could find a combination through some math of what two capacitors you could put in series with each other to get that 8 microfarad, or 6 microfarad, or 5 microfarad, things like that. And it's not all just applicable to electrolytic capacitors, it affects both uh, polyester and ceramic capacitors the same. It affects all capacitors the same way. So that's something to keep in mind and not to fall into the trap of believing, oh yeah, we've got two capacitors across a bipolar supply of large values, so it's a large capacitance there. It's not. Anyway, I hope you found this video interesting and informative, and if you did, please remember to go below and rate, comment, and subscribe. You can always follow me on Facebook and become a Patreon member for as little as a dollar a month. The links are in the description as usual, guys. Anyway, this is the Astro 30 saying, see ya, have a great day.